The parable of the two sons can be found in Matthew chapter 21 verses 28 to 32. It contrasts the tax collectors and prostitutes who accepted the message taught by John the Baptist with the religious people who did not. Matthew chapter 21 verses 28 to 32, New International Version's parable of the two sons. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered, but later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. From this we see that the Father represents God. The first son represents the tax collectors and prostitutes. They said no to God initially, but when they heard the message of the kingdom, they changed their minds and began to do God's will. The second son represents the chief priests and elders. They said wise to God, but when they heard the message, they did not act. And most likely the vineyard represent Israel the people of God. Those who refuse God but later repent and obey, like the first son, will go into the kingdom. This parable teaches us that God doesn't want someone like the second son, who claims to be someone that they are not. The first son does not lie and ends up helping in the end, unlike his brother who creates a false image of himself as someone who helps, but in the end he is only letting his father down. Which is exactly what God tells us not to do. God wants us to believe and respond to the message of the kingdom. We are to respond by obeying God. To say it another way, God is looking for a change within that leads to obedience. So that we come to do our Heavenly Father's will, instead of ours or anyone else's. Thanks for watching. Please like. Comment and subscribe.